Hey, what's going on everyone? Sam Joaquin Jr. here. Today I wanted to bring you this video by Sam Joaquin Valley Transparency. I wanted to bring you this video by my dad because one, he's conducting this cop watch with Joe Cool who came all the way from Chicago to audit with all the California cop watchers. And two, my dad gets a good interaction with this low life cop who thinks he is above the law or thinks he is above his own department policies. You guys are gonna see this unfold in the video with this interaction and my dad's gonna take this guy to school. Guys, do me a favor watch the video and let me know what you guys think in the comment section and as always enjoy now just to give a bit of context here this officer the one without the helmet and who's a little bit overweight was the one who pulled the car over originally and was searching this man's vehicle he ended up calling for backup because my dad ended up seeing these guys pull this guy over and decided to get out and cop watch now this officer that pulled this guy over was scared of the cameras and decided to call two because he was in fear of his life Is he really afraid of a camera? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> one, one guy, one guy, and then... Oh. You should feel safer. We got these. Right, got one, Can I, uh, hey, is, uh... Is, wait a minute, though. Is officer safety heroism or cowardice? Because shouldn't it be public safety instead of officer safety? Right? Shout out to Joe Cool, who's here with us today, Nate's Gates 182. I mean, I don't know. I mean, look at us. We don't got all kinds of tactical gear. We're out here in the public enjoying the each other. <laughs> uh, I don't like to label myself. I'm just a journalist. <clears throat> yeah, we go everywhere. Right. That's. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's not me. Yeah, that's not me. And hey, what? Do you mind if I get your name and badge number? Thank you. Have you? How long have you been out here in Bakersfield? Eleven years. Cool, man. You don't like to violate people's rights, do you? <laughs> business. That's right, business. Because it's a business, huh? It's a business, huh? You just said it. Man, you guys get uh, promotions and shit. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I like to focus on the policies, man, okay. uh, because, you know, there is a lot of disconnect between the people and police, sure. but I, I think I like to focus on the policies. What What is creating this? You know, um, the disconnect. Um, I like to look at uh, internal investigations. Oh, okay. You know, I think that that's a mess. Uh, police unions is a mess um, and qualified immunity is a mess. And uh, I think uh, it allows the bad cops to uh, flourish and the good cops have to shut up. And you know what I'm talking about. I do. I, I can tell you the amount of time I've been doing this. With the big agency, you're going to have a lot of um, There's, let's say, 8,000 more. Uh, there's more than that. Just CHP. You've got all the police. I think they have. So, yeah, that's amazing. All I know is I, I conduct my business and my job. My work's not keeping there was a uh, you know what's amazing is a, a retired fish and game warden uh obviously was inspired watching my channel as well as other ones and he wrote a book the first book written on first amendment auditors and uh the book came out last year i've been promoting it um, and it just, it basically shows how our rights are being violated on the daily, you know, and, uh, like this, I'm sorry to jump in. I ain't heard a word y'all said, but like this, why is he searching this man's car? I just, 
Uh, I mean, I know you don't know literally, I don't know literally, but he got no business. This man was probably pulled over for a traffic violation. You shouldn't ask, can I search your car? You shouldn't ask passengers for IDs and shit like that. Word. I, I haven't, I haven't spoken to this gentleman. I understand. I mean, I general, know. generally, I when can't give you an answer if I don't know it. No, listen, what I'm asking, you can ask okay. this. Generally, when cops pull people over, they'll ask to search the car. It's your fucking business what's in this car. Wouldn't you agree? We can oh, have yeah. somebody ask you to search your car your home. It's my business, or you mean the owner's business? No, it's not the uh, cop's business to ask me nothing like that. Don't ask okay. me to search my car. Can I search you? Got a problem? Anything in your pockets that'll stick me? It ain't your business what's in my pockets, what's in my car. Just because you're allowed as a cop. I'm asking your opinion. This is California Highway Patrol. Is this a supervisor? No? He said, hell no, he ain't my supervisor. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, the solo journalist thing is pretty big. Uh, I, like I said, I've seen a lot of it on Facebook. It's, yeah, man. It's, it's a lot, but that's you, No, tell me that you don't have to. You guys, people get... Um, yeah, I, I mean, well, who gives you credentials? Honestly, I don't know. Like Just, ones, like, you know, those, those yeah, that shit can be biased sometimes, though, man. You know what I mean? I, I agree. You're doing, man. Mind if, I get, mind if I get your name and badge number? Just for the record. What does that mean? You're, you're not part of this situation. That's not your vehicle. You don't want to just be professional? I mean, this man's been professional the whole time. We've been having a cool conversation, and you're just like... You're like the main thing, man, is just... You're, you're kind of acting like you have a stick in your ass right now. These, these just the situation like this, it's kind of like internal affairs stuff. We can't divulge information that... His name and badge number, which is to the public, anyways... And not it's probably a uh, policy, right, to state it when uh, asked by the public. But now that you've engaged in conversation, we don't. So the public has no right to know your name. Public servants. You don't mind stating it. What's your badge number? You don't want to state it. Well, can you at least turn this way so I can see it? Are you going to get scared if I go up to you to see it? But you don't want me you don't want to state it but you don't want me to see it. It's millimeter in size. Keep your hands where I can see it, man. Hey, just keep Yeah, you're not allowing shit. You ain't allowing shit, bro. You think you're my daddy? You're not what being cordial. Ain't allowing. nobody said no bad words at you. I'm allowing you to stand out here and do your job. You still ain't allowing nothing. I'm a free man. You ain't allowing nothing. I'm not asking your permission for nothing. You're looking silly right now, man. Hey. Horrible. You got me curious. I got to see the outcome now. I got to see what happened. You're acting weird, man. <laughs> he should be the boss. <laughs> he should run the whole department. Hey, are you upset because he was acting like a little bitch and called oh you for God. backup? Now he's going under the hood. He called you for backup for cameras because he's afraid of cameras. This is this is what you guys are taught to be afraid of cameras. Look it. I'm not calling anybody names. A chicken shit. Acting like a little bitch. Acting like a little bitch, dude. First of all, look, first of all, he's pretty much tearing the guy's car apart. Begging to find something, dude. Begging to find something. Come on, man. Th that's disgusting, dude. Secondly, this guy comes up and we're, we're keeping our distance. We're being respectful, having a respectful conversation with this dude. He identified no problem. And you... You're not chingon for no reason. Come on, dude. Then just identify. Be professional. Act, act like okay. A act like you serve the public. Can no, no. Act can like can we start over? Can we start over? 
Is that a tear I see? I most certainly did not. I I most certainly did not. Just for the record, but just for but just for the record, I asked for your name and badge number, and you didn't want. But you engaged in conversation. And that means now that I asked you for your name and badge number, it's your policy to identify. All right, we'll see. I'll go make a complaint. Vehicle number 1484191. For your safety. Yeah, what about the public safety? You, you go home thinking officer safety, officer safety, acting like you're, you're a hero, but that's cowardice. Public safety is heroism, not officer safety. That shit is cowardice, and it's written all over your face. <laughs> then just identify. I asked you, Menta, is that your last name, Menta? Menta, is that your last name? You insulted me with your attitude, man. Over here at your guys' station? Yeah. I'll probably meet you guys over there after this. <laughs> but I'm, I want to go put a complaint on this guy right here. Unless he wants to start over and just give me his name and badge number, I don't have to go do all that shit. Just be professional, man. You know these complaints will follow you. Let me get the vehicle number. I don't see a vehicle number. That's your car? Record them, man. Put your phone on and record them. There's nothing in there? <laughs> He's trying hard to find some, huh? You don't think you insulted me? You don't think you insulted me with your demeanor and your insubordinance? You did insult me. You did insult me by not identifying. I asked you, I asked you nicely, kindly, just like I did this man and he identified. Very professional. You're a coward, man. You go around and, and treating people like garbage. And you don't expect it back, man. But you're getting it back today. It's nice to meet you. <laughs>
Now, if you guys know my dad, that cop got off the hook fairly easy. My dad even tried to give him a second chance to give up his name and badge number. But the cop has too big of an ego and too big of pride to do what his policy states, and that is identify yourself when the public asks you to. It's not hard to give up your name and badge number. Guys, do me a favor. Go to my dad's channel, San Joaquin Valley Transparency. Go to his second channel, San Joaquin News Network. Go to Joe Cool's channel. Go to Nate Skates 182's channel. Go hit all their subscribe buttons if you're not already like their videos go to their comment sections let them know i sent you and as always know your rights and record the police